Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. We got a great video for you today. This is going to be a little bit emotional video because I'm in front of St. Francis de Chantel uh, Church and I went to the school here and I'm not really excited about doing this video because it's about the abuse that I uh, faced at 11 years old uh, by a priest in this place. But we're going to do it anyway. But before I get started, check us out on YouTube member programs. Check us out on Patreon, our Discord. You guys know all about my merch and all my book. Check it all out because this story is in there as well. It's in the book and everything happened. Uh, well, when I was young, you know, everybody used to be altar boys. or We all went to the school. The school is over here. And uh, th that's, this is where the convent is. That's where the, the nuns are, live. And that's a convent. But on the other side is St. Francis de Chantel School, which we'll go over there in a little bit. But here is where the church was. Well, all of us were altar boys. And the reason we were altar boys is because what happened was we would uh, make money. We used to do funerals and we used to do weddings and people would tip you. So you made good money and that's what you did. But you also had to do the mass and that's the mass and you know you had to ring the bell and all the bullshit that went along with that crap now that you learn about it when you get older. And it is what it is. And I have nothing against anybody who's in any kind of religion at all, period. That's just not my gig. I, I Good for you do it, whatever it makes you, you know, your head spin, go for it. I don't look at what happened to me and judge all priests either, you know, a lot of people. I don't call a person father, because if you ever know what the word father, and, and if you look at the Bible itself, it says, call no man thy father as fathers in heaven. And they're not talking about your paternal father, they're talking about father. So who the fuck am I going to call some priest father? Who the fuck is he? He's just a fucking man. He puts his pants on. His problem is he don't get fucking laid, so he's fucking got to go attack kids. So anyway, I was in this church here, and we're going to go towards it. I'm going to see if it's even open. And we're going to go inside. And, uh, you know, it's, I'm, look at me. I'm getting fucking nerves. I, I really don't like it because uh, I have bad memories here. Ever since that time, I stopped going to church, everything. I was in the back, and... Uh, after uh, a service, the priest, I was sitting changing my gear. They, they gave you these white gowns, like a robe. They put it over you, the, you know, the whole thing. And I, actually, we were in shorts. It was in the summertime. And once so I'd taken off my stuff, and the priest opened my pants and, and got on his knees and started touching me and blowing me. And, man, I hate even doing this. And I didn't know what to do. You didn't run. You didn't run away, you didn't say anything to anybody because they were people of power. And you didn't tell anybody, I didn't tell anybody until I was in my 30s. And uh, I, I look back and I find out later in life that there was other people abused uh, at this church too. And I, I feel for them too because I knew how it was, I knew the feeling. But ever since that time, at about whatever age that was, 11, it was 11, I started being a real uh, tough kid, if you want to call that. I, I, I guess I had to prove my manhood. And I was just fucking hitting puberty. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on yet. I had fucking barely hair on my fucking dick. And, and, this, and it, it, you think about that, and you think, oh, why would somebody do that to somebody? And then you, you start saying how fucking sick those people are. And, and by not, them not getting laid, I mean, I'm sure that is part of it. So, I mean, I look at all of this, and I'm going to try to go in this fucking place just to show you where it's about. And I might curse out a fucking priest, but I don't want to because it's not that guy that did it. But he ain't father to me. I don't call no man father. It's the same exact place I remember exactly. Now, they didn't have the skis here that I don't remember, but I do remember this place. This is, look at my fucking heart pounding. This is bad, this is where the bad shit's happening and, and it's in the other corner. You know, wow, I don't even want to come here anymore. And, uh, that's, this is the back of the church. This was the room where they had the wine. We used to steal the wine out of those things right there. Those cabinets right there on the other side. We would steal, yeah. This is where you get ready, you dress up, you can do anything, you have the wine and the Eucharist and stuff like that. This is the first time I've been back here in 40-something uh, years. 
uh, since I was uh, 48 years. This is 48 years ago. I never come in. What we used to do, and, and I, my parents are good about that. They never question us. But what I used to do is used to come in the door when they used to give us money for a uh, to put in the basket. They give you a dollar. We would never put give. We'd go to the store and get a beer. We'd get a, a quart of beer. I'm gonna show you the wop shop. But what we did was we used to come in here and pick up a uh, a program. You know, the, the daily mass program to bring it home. Like we went. We never did go. That was just what we never did. Larry, I've never seen you affected. Affected, like you walked in here, you were affected. You. Oh, fucking look at my heart's beating, Billy. I can't believe it. I mean, it's. I, I don't, this is just a place that, that, that has got such bad memories that you don't, this is, reminds me of being abused in prison. That's how, this is the kind of level it was. And even as a younger kid, I think it's worse. I think it, 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 it will affect anybody. Anybody who says it doesn't affect them, they're, they're fucking crazy. Now, I, I've learned not to judge others. I've learned not to judge even the churches or anything like that. I don't hate churches at all. But it's the person that did that. And, but I got such a fucking bad feeling in this place. It's like, I, I don't want to be here. I, it's like, I can't wait to get out. It's like, yeah, I feel like almost I'm leaving prison. I feel that way. That's the kind of nerves, the fucking, the chill, the, the, the bad parts of this that I don't like. And it's because of this place. And it's, it's going to be good just to get out. Fuck, I actually feel better. I'm not kidding you. It's like, you know, and when that happened, when I was a young kid and that happened, you kept it all in. And then you still question your, question everything in your life and everything else. And it's something that you just did. And, you know, I don't think anybody who's been through it wouldn't question themselves as a young kid. You know, you question your sexuality. You, you questioned everything, you know. You, if you'd looked at another kid in the locker room, were you thinking, what am I, gay, or this, or this? And I don't care what people are. I'm the most open person in the world. But it's so, I, I look at that now, and I say, wow, how fucked up was your life when you were a kid? And they fucking kind of form you. And that's why I think abuse by priests is one of the worst things you can do. Because it, it, it's that authority figure that does that to you. It's not the... Uh, it's not just, a, 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 or I, I think it's so bad as a relative as well. You hear those stories. All abuse is bad. Let's put it, put it, let's say it like it is. You know, when I was a kid, after it happened, I didn't know what to do. I mean, I, you don't tell anybody, oh, the father grabbed you and then put his mouth on your penis. And, you know, I look back, I mean, how sick is these motherfuckers? You had a little penis. I don't mean that to be a smart ass or something. It's weird because, you know, you don't know what to do. You can't tell anybody he's the priest. You don't know if they're going to believe you or not. You just don't want to go to church. You don't want this. You want So you, you, you get all these thoughts in your head. And when you're laying up at night thinking, and then you thought, oh, the, what about the feeling? It wasn't a bad feeling. It wasn't like he bit you or something. So the, And that's the first feeling I've ever had like that. I mean, I was like, you know, fucking barely hit puberty. Barely hit puberty. Uh, I just probably learned to jack off at 12 years old. So I was 11 years old. So I was like, I didn't know what was going on. I was like a little kid. And I was this little cute blonde kid. Here's the picture right here. I'm putting it up. And uh, that's what I was. That's how old I was. I was a little kid. I didn't tell a soul until I was in my 30s. Until I was in my 30s. And I never came back here. I never thought bad. I mean, I, when you grow older, you start thinking, and then you, then you start reading, and you realize it's not you, and you understand, you know, you gotta be smart. Obviously, you realize it's not your fault or anything of that nature, and that, but you don't look at it like, you don't look at it and say to yourself, oh, I should fucking, you know, go tell the authorities, or please, like I, I would want kids to do today. And if anybody's out there being abused, I want you to go to the authorities. I want you to go to someone of trust. And if you don't think you can trust, trust some adult, even if it's a relative and you don't think that, go trust somebody of authority or older that can help you navigate that pain because you shouldn't have to go through life. And maybe that's why I was a little crazy. Maybe that's why I started fucking acting out. Uh, my manager, Peter, you all know who he is. He always says, Larry, you lost your risk meter. 
it was probably then when you didn't give a fuck. I had no abandon then. I didn't care. It was like, is this, you know, you used to question yourself. You, you, am I wrong? Did I do something wrong to the priest? You, you know, everything. What did I, why me? You, you, there's so many questions you have. And you start repressing them. So I totally understand why people repress sexual, uh, sexual abuse in any way. Because you don't want it to come out. You don't, it's hard for me to do this video because I'm sitting here, you know, thinking, and, and the fucking feelings were terrible. It's just not something you want, and, and I don't ever want to feel them again. And I look at these places, and people want to, you know, uh, and, and no, I don't hate, I don't hate God. I don't hate religion. I'm not a religious person. I don't believe in religion, if you want to call it that. I'm spiritual. Personally, I'm spiritual. I, you know, there's no one God that's going to judge all these people in the world. Oh, if you're only Catholic, you're going to fucking heaven. If you're a Jew, you're not. Or if you're a Muslim, you're not. That's all bullshit in my mind. I don't buy that for one second. So I, I look at it as, as being spiritual, which I'm, I'm spiritual. I think, you know, there's something out there. But I'm really an agnostic, if everybody knows what that is. You believe in something, you just don't know what the fuck it is. And I think that comes from my youth. I, but my parents never pushed us. I was... At that age, after that, 11 years old, I don't know if they didn't care or didn't know, but they didn't make us go to church after that. I mean, for some reason, they didn't make us. You know, when we were young, young, yes, you had to dress up and go to church, and it was a big deal. You know, but when you got older, even 11, we all did our own thing, go to church, go when you want, go get the, you know, get. we only got it for because we got a dollar from our mother. When you were in your 30s, who did you tell? I, I told the psychologist. I told the psychologist in prison, and uh, I was 34 years old because I went to prison at 34, and I went to a prison, and they asked about your past and all this kind of shit, and I ended up telling them, uh, and they just, yeah, I mean, they just, okay, you know, they let you talk, which is okay, which I, I'm happy about, and then later, I even told some friends and people, and I ended up finding out that a couple other friends were uh, molested as kids at this church. So, you know, these, these, these priests and these old fucking ghostly father, they just fuck, go fuck yourself. I, I'm not into that. I'm sorry. I, and I, I'm not knocking your religion. If you're Catholic or you're any religion, I am not knocking you or telling you what to do. I don't do that. You know my channel. I'm not about that. I like to talk about things that happen, and maybe that's why I became who I was and in that regard. And if somebody's getting abused, I hope that they... Uh, go to somebody and they can stop that abuse, but I'm not hating religion again I'm not liking what happened to me and the the churches I got turned on by all the pomp and glory and all the that stuff that you know You bow to the priest and all that you know, he's a man He got a fucking dick and balls and and he's fucking just like you and me uh, And that's just and if you really read the Bible which I've read the Bible five times cover to cover It says right in there call man, no man thy father's father's in heaven it also says, I don't call any man reverend. I don't care if it's, uh, you know, Al Sharpton or whoever. I don't give a fuck who he is. I don't call him reverend. Because it says, on Psalms 111, verse 9, it says, Holy and reverend is my name. Nowhere in the whole Bible is the word reverend used towards a regular man. And if you look up the word reverend in a holy concordance, uh, uh, in a concordance, a book of religion uh, words and, and uh, definitions, the word reverend means to hold in awe and fear. I don't hold any man in awe and fear. Any man. They're just a man. Now, uh, so, I mean, I'm just giving you little verbs that I know from the Bible. So, uh, and I don't want to knock your religion. Anybody had, listen, whatever it takes for you to get by and whatever it takes for you in this world to, to, to get by, good for you. I, I want you to be happy. I want everybody to be happy. Uh, I just don't get happiness from here. I do not get happiness at all. I get the fucking chills, and I get the goosebumps. Uh, with that said, I think uh, I think I will close this video, and by saying, "Hey guys, if you have anything happen to you or, or know somebody, get it out." It helped me immensely when I was in my thirties when I got it out. I wish I would have did it earlier. I really do, but I didn't. And I want you to, and if it's happening to you, please don't think it's your fault and you're not alone. It does happen. Get help. Really get help. I really, I mean that. I want you to get help and understand.
that it can stop and it's not you and don't question yourself or don't question who you become or anything like that. You're a good person. Always remember that and, and life will go on and you'll get better and you'll pass, a, a pass all this stuff off. And, but you've got to go to somebody and get it stopped if that's happening to you. Always remember that. Have a great day, everybody. Make good choices, please. That's what this channel is about. And uh, check us out. we got a lot of great videos right here from the Bronx. Have a good day, everybody.